Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Andrea with Restoration Chiropractic. I am here with Danielle. Danielle Hi. is uh, with Divine Radiant Living. We got connected because she ended up coming into the office for her and her daughters. And we just have so much in common. We love talking and yes. we, we really love impacting people's lives. And I was like, I should have Danielle on. We should talk. Mm -hmm. So welcome. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. So um, Danielle, I know that we've talked a bunch about what you do. Why mm -hmm. don't you um, share with me a little bit about like actually what you do so people understand what, what, what you do. <laughs> that sounded so, so good. <laughs> <laughs> the, bulk of, the bulk of what I do, like we talked about, you know, I have this umbrella title, but the bulk of what I do really is energy work. And okay. um, so I'm a Reiki master teacher. Okay. And essentially for those who believe in quantum physics, I do energy healing uh, hands off, a little bit raised up as opposed to hands on. And it's helping to unblock people's energy, helping to bring more clarity, less pain, um, and just helping them feel lighter and brighter in what they do oh. day to day. Okay, cool. So let's, you mentioned quantum physics, which yes. is one of my loves. Talk a little bit about that. Like how does quantum physics fit in with the energy of healing? So in quantum physics, everything is energy. Right. Right. And we've been able to see from a very deep cellular level how you'll have uh, a rod turn into a cone and just different structures changing shape. You'll see where a big part of what's going on um, with our day to day is really about what intention or perspective we put on it. Right. So they did this experiment to see, OK, is something going to be a circle or a line? And essentially, it was all about the observer of the subject. And every time they redid this as a scientific experiment, so, it was based on the subject's perception. So, so if the subject thought it was going to be a circle, it was a circle. That's right. And if the subject thought it was going to be a line, it was a line. It was a line. Really? So that's it's, fascinating. It you know, so cool. <laughs> One of my core beliefs is that you know what you focus on is what you get, right? Yeah. And but yeah. I've never I've never seen it taken down to that like minute of a level. So that's really yeah. fascinating. And these are things um, that not I a didn't, lot of people know too, you know. Right, right. I did some study of quantum physics about 10 years ago, and it was really interesting because they were showing that, you know, if you had some person like in one location and another like a petri dish or something, five miles away, you could actually affect the Petri dish is like, whoa, that's weird. Yes. Yeah, because everything is energy and we're all connected in some way. And so what I do is tap into that person's energy. And um, as part of a medical intuitive, I will feel in my own body, I'll sense it, I'll smell it, I'll taste it, I'll hear things that relate to that person. And they'll tell me, oh, yeah, I have been having a liver problem. Oh, yeah, my thyroid is off or you know, different things that come up because it's about us focusing very intently um, on this other person. And I say most medical professionals, like yourself included, you're probably also a medical intuitive because you're drawn to healing and taking care of people. So you're naturally going to be more in tune with what's going on with them. If they walk in, you're going to see them walk a little wobbly and go, oh, they're walking off. Okay. I think that might be this, 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 let's get you scanned. Right. Yeah. It's interesting because that energy portion is really important in my job too. Like I, I joke at least, at least when my pain was my pain, at least when my practice was more focused on chronic pain, like I intuitively knew that the first yeah. four weeks of care, I was literally giving the patients my energy to help them start yes. healing. Right. Yes. And so I had to be very, I had to be very cognizant of how I took care of myself. I still do because of that. Yeah. You know, I don't do it as much now that I work more with moms and kids. Um, but yeah, that energy interchange is very important. It so is, yeah. how, yeah, how did you fall into this line of work? I've always been naturally intuitive. It's something that's kind of been in my family. Mm -hmm. And as an adult, um, you know, I worked as a small business owner before I, I switched to the corporate structure after selling the business to them. And I, it was just so stressful. I needed an outlet. So I ended up becoming a yoga teacher trainer. And in that program, um, I met my mentor who had, was an alumni of this yoga training program and also a Reiki master. So through her, I'd go see her whenever I was like frazzled, ready to lose it. And I'd like, mm -hmm. can I see you? And I'd come out just feeling so relaxed, having clarity, feeling heard and understood 
because right. she would tell me things about myself and what I was going through that I hadn't told her. And so it just felt nice to feel seen, right? Mm -hmm. And then also that other energetic component to help give me that boost to keep going. And then three months later or two months later, like, hey, I need, I need another boost, right? Um, right. And so down the line, she told me, you know, we've talked enough. I kind of know your vibe. I think you could do this. So uh, I did it. I made the switch awesome. from commercial real estate to this. And it's been a huge, um, a huge transition, but like beautiful, really. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's a big change. <laughs> it's a, well, you know, it's interesting though, because you're working with people, right? You're working right. with people, you're trying to help them. You're bridging the gaps, putting the pieces together. And so in a way it's not too far off. It's just different energy. Yeah. I yeah. hear you. Yeah. So, um, how would somebody know if they needed, how would somebody know if their energy needed help or how would they know if you might be able to help them? So, um, what people will usually feel, they'll start having physical health issues, right? And, uh, they'll start feeling lightheaded, like brain fog. Mm -hmm. Um, they'll have pains in their body. They'll literally feel stuck and unable to make decisions. They'll feel confused. They, I, the, what the common thing I come up um, hearing is they either can't decide if like they really know and to like, this is my intuition or if it's the fear talking, is it the ego talking? And so you just literally feel stuck. You feel like you don't feel like yourself. Uh, you might feel really tired and lethargic. Mm -hmm. Um, and so where I say I can help people is if they're open and willing to receive the help I can give them. So if someone wants me to give them a magic pill to cure everything, we're probably not going to work well because it takes time to build up to this level. Right. It can take time to undo the dis-ease that's taking place in their bodies and, and right. in, you know, inside of them. Yeah. In chiropractic, we also have that dis-ease phrase. Yeah. It's so interesting that you just used it because I've I only it. thought ever of chiropractors <laughs> is using it. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk, you know, we're talking, we're talking about energy. We're talking about the body's yeah. energy and how it's flowing and how it can get stuck in different places. Talk a little bit about that. Like, are there certain yeah. pathways that you find that get stuck more often or you know, whatever? So each person is different. Um, you know, I go over, it's like the Ayurvedic wellness, the Indian wellness system, Indian health mm -hmm. system, and we use chakras, right? And so the idea is that certain areas of our body contain certain types of energy that affect, and you and I talk about this, certain organs, right? Right. And so what's fascinating is there's the organ level. So you know, oh, okay, you're feeling really lonely and you don't have your basic needs met. Okay, that's the base of your spine. That's your root chakra, because mm -hmm. that is literally the foundation of our spine, right? The foundation of our body. And oh, so can I interrupt yeah. you really quick? Yes. So interestingly enough, like that, that I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the sacrum, right? Yeah. Yeah. So in the chiropractic world, the sacrum and then the base of the skull, that is where the parasympathetic nervous system lives. And the parasympathetic is the resting, healing and restoring. So yes. I wonder how that, like if that's out of balance, I wonder how that ties into what you're saying in terms of the energy flow. Well, I mean, if you think about it, we have our, you know, our ape brain, the primate brain, which is our making sure our basic needs are met. And mm -hmm. when we feel in danger, when our basic needs feel threatened, then what's going to happen? You're going to go into fight, flight, or freeze mode. Exactly. Right? So it completely makes sense. So if you had a very rocky childhood, for example, and you don't have a, a real sense of um, a healthy or secure attachment, that's going to show up physically in different ways. It's also going to show up in your life in different ways mm -hmm. uh, with your career, with how you react to being stressed, not respond, how you react. Right. So it all depends on the person. You know, we'll talk about the throat. That's quite literally throat issues. So mm -hmm. when people come to me and they're like, yeah, I just, the swollen lymph nodes, you have the thyroid, there's other, you know, other areas going on physically. And then on a deeper level, it's okay. Have you been talking about your problems? Are you literally swallowing all the toxicity around you, either physically like the environment or right. what you're ingesting, nutrition, food, or right. toxic behaviors and toxic energy from other people? Because you could work in a place where you don't get along with anybody. They're just mean or self-serving, you know, and that's going to be a drain on your energy too. It's so interesting. I had a girlfriend once who she said that she like in her room at night, she would literally have 
bags of Oreos. And she said what she would do is at night after everyone had gone to bed, she would like literally shove Oreos down her throat, right? That was exactly how she phrased it. And she was like, I feel like I'm stuffing something down. And in my head, yes. I was thinking, you are. Like, you're totally stuffing something down. And in Spanish, we have the phrase tragar, which is like you're just swallowing and swallowing and swallowing uh-huh. until eventually your body is going to say, I've had enough. You, you know, our body right. is always giving us signs of how we can heal ourselves, where we need to pay attention. And if we ignore it, eventually we're we're going to have it come up in very loud ways totally. that you cannot <laughs> ignore. Like, you're lying in the hospital because X, Y, Z happened and you literally can't leave the hospital until you get better. Yeah. I always tell people like, look, you can handle it now or you can handle it later. It'll take less time and less <laughs> money now or more time yes. and more money later. Like that's which exactly. do you prefer? <laughs> and that's why I tell people, you know, when they want to work with me, they have to be open because when I work with them, I, I'm seeing their energy system. I feel the different components of what's going on in their body and on deeper levels mm-hmm. And it can be really hard for people to have someone mirror back to them real honest truth of what's going on. I'm sure, especially if they don't want to look at that honest truth. Yeah. And and so oftentimes when I work with people, when they come to me, they're ready. Like they're at that point of, if not desperation, near desperation, because they just can't take that discomfort that they're feeling in their bodies anymore. And so that's nice because they come like, I don't care. I'll try anything. I just, something's got to give. And that's all, that's where you want anyone, even your clients. Like you want someone who's like, I need this help. Um, I'm going to make the necessary changes in my diet, my environment, my lifestyle. So I can support the healing you're giving me. Right. I want to go on a little bit of a tangent because something just came up for me. So let's say you're working with someone and they are in a home environment that is not Mm -hmm. contributing to their healing. Like what do you do then? So I actually had um, a medical intuitive reading for someone in the South who was having lots of health issues. Her children, her young sons were having lots of health issues. And I Uh kept getting their message like water, water, water. And I finally stopped. I go, "Um, your house has mold. Like I just stopped. I was like, your house has mold. I don't know how to tell you this other than just to be out there. And she looked at me eyes wide and said, well, yeah, we had mold in the roof but we did the remediation. I said, no, your whole house has mold. And, and I told her, you need to move. Like you need to get yourself out and have a full sweep done to make sure. Uh, Mm -hmm. And sure enough, she had a little farmhouse in the country close, close enough that she could go stay there with her family. They opened all the walls. There was mold everywhere Everywhere. oh my god yeah one of my one of my patients he's he's an autistic boy but Mm. mom was coming in and she was like god you know like i feel weird too it turns out they had mold so yeah it's a it's a big deal it is a big deal and um again the more in tune we are and we kind of quiet down and allow ourselves some peace of mind we can receive these feelings right right like um, it's think of even Porter Ranch, right? The gas leak. There are people that were dramatically affected. They had to move. Now, for those that were very close to the leak, they could smell it. Those of us that are further away, you may not be able to smell it, but you're still getting some of the toxic effects, right? Depending on how close you are, right? Right. Uh, and so it's just important to pay attention to that and to trust your gut. That's a big thing is, you know, our gut health is connected with our mental health, we, right? Yep. We have this whole gut microbiome that is connected with our brain. Mm-hmm. So when we're trusting our gut, in essence, what we're saying is we're trusting ourselves and that we know things are happening around us and we're able to filter it uh, and digest it and process it. Yeah, it's interesting because neurologically, the brain and the gut are directly connected. Yeah. And the gut is actually called the second brain because if yeah. you look at the neurology of the gut, it is almost as sophisticated as the brain mm-hmm. and tied into like every portion of our health. So super yeah. interesting. And so yeah. you're hitting it then more from that like gut feeling or that energy work rather than like the physical structure. And a lot of times people that are lacking confidence, which is, a, it's the area between your belly button and your heart area. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's the confidence. That's how you feel creative and express yourself and how you put yourself out there into the world. A lot of times when we're eating terrible foods, we're not going to feel confident. 
And so when I recommend people change almost everything in their diet, or at least bits and pieces, it's because we're cleaning up that gut to better support the rest of our body. Right. Right. Because if you do the energy work, but you keep eating crappy foods, processed foods, all this other stuff that your body doesn't like, you're negating the, the great benefits that you're getting. Yeah. I yeah. say all the time, like you literally are what you eat. <laughs> like yeah. your body literally takes those foods and breaks them down into little pieces so they can build new parts of you. Yeah. And if you're building new parts of you with Cheetos, you're going to have <laughs> <laughs> one consequence. And if you're yeah. building new parts of you with, you know, green beans, you'll have a different one. And, you know, I... <laughs> Um, I'm a little bit more flexible too. Cause like, I still like a donut from, well, yeah, of time, course, you know, yeah, every now um, and then everything in moderation. Yeah. Right? I'm not a hundred percent like strict about it, uh, because I'm human going through this journey myself. But when you do notice the changes that you make from changing your diet, part of what you're doing is you're saying, I care enough and love myself enough and feel worthy enough and deserving enough to accept these changes so I can change my life. Yeah. And, totally. and that's also part of what comes in is, and that's that deeper nature beyond just the physical, that part of why um, people don't sustain a healthy lifestyle is because they don't think they're worth it. They don't think they're deserving of it. And so at, they'll hit a, hit a certain limit and then in a way self-sabotage because they're not comfortable getting even healthier or even right. stronger. And so that's where the energy work comes in to help go, okay, well, you hit this limit. Let's talk about it. Let's do some work on this to help open it up and get them still going and, and increasing to where they want to be. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So if people wanted to reach out to you, I had popped up the, uh, I popped up your, your website a little bit ago. How do people connect with you? What's your email? What do you want me to put um, on the screen? Let me ask that. <laughs> My email is Danielle at divine radiant living.com. Okay. And I tried to make it very easy. My Facebook and Instagram are divine radiant living. Um, my website's divineradiantliving.com. So all very easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So if you're on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, just go look for divineradiantliving.com. You can email Danielle directly at danielle yeah. at divineradiantliving.com. And then um, do you have anything you'd like to share with viewers as some yeah. sort of a special offer or anything? So I would like to offer anyone who's watching this 20% discount um, on any of my one-to-one -one services. And then awesome. a uh, 10% discount. I do a 13 week virtual uh, healing program. It's a group program. Um, and so I'd like to offer 10% off that program. We start in January. Very, very cool. Yeah. Well, Danielle, thank you so much. I appreciate thank your you. time. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your Tuesday. <laughs> thank you <laughs> and i will talk to you later um right. i will i will be back in a couple of weeks with tracy casati of rest well baby she is a certified pediatric sleep consultant so moms will be interested to talk about that i gotta look at the calendar and see what it's scheduled i'm actually going to be out of town next week so nothing next week i hope everybody has an amazing day remember always to be grateful have fun and love lots danielle thank you for your time thank you and i'll see you guys later all right take care Bye. bye